Alright, so here I have my uh, Nintendo uh, Color TV Game 15. And uh, I've adjusted the attenuators, so it's um, it's pretty good, but uh, still, every time the uh, ball, every time the game makes a noise, um, it distorts the screen, and there's still a lot of uh, interference. Um, so here's the circuit board, <coughs> and uh, here is the uh, attenuator slots for. Uh, channels one and two. Wait, just a second. There they are. And um, you can just stick a screwdriver in there and adjust them. It's just RF uh, Japanese channel one and two. There's the switch right in front of it. And then down here is a uh, attenuator that says um, 4.5 megahertz. And um, from what I could tell, that um, affects the audio mostly. Um, but I was just wondering if any of you know um, any ways to adjust this from an RF output to maybe composite video and uh, mono or uh, S video and mono or something like that. Um, but it's an interesting system. There is the. Uh, there is the battery compartment, um, but you can also use an AC adapter. Um, there's the paddle controllers. Um, and um, they actually can disconnect from the system. As you can see right... Just a second. This is the power cable. Trying to get it in focus for you guys. Not really succeeding. Anyways, the um, controller ports can disconnect. As you can see. And that actually takes away the paddle on screen. It literally disappears. So, um, that's an interesting little piece of information. And it just plugs back in. And now we have the controller again. Now we've got the paddle up there again. And now we have our endless game again. But, um, <clears throat> fairly interesting system. Um, this wiring and this board on the bottom here is just the, uh, the switches on the face panel, as you can see, um, that just has different game modes, different game options. Um, you can give two paddles to each player, you can make the paddle half size, and it also has different games like hockey, uh, tennis, um, adds different obstacles, like in this uh, particular mode there's a bunch of walls in the center of the screen, as you can see. So, um, in any case, I was just wondering if there's any way to modify it so I can get rid of the, all the RF noise. Like, every time you, um, introduce any kind of, uh, like, anything to the wires, it'll make noise. Um, if you, uh, for example, touch the, uh, attenuators or anything in here, you can hear it kind of react. So, um, anyways... Any information would be greatly appreciated. Thanks.